look at look at that like what's going on here with this glow right oh my god hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Anna if you're new here I do makeup reviews makeup tutorials skincare anything beauty related I got you covered I am so freaking excited to talk about this video obviously you know you read the title uh, my absolute favorite Disney movie like original animated video uh, movie is Alice in Wonderland it's my favorite one I remember being like Four and just watching it on replay and replay and back then depending on how old you are I'm sure most of you can relate uh, we used to have them on VHS's which were these tapes and short story oh my god <laughs> we didn't grow up like with a lot of money my mother was a single parent and she used to record movies from TV and one of the movies that she recorded it was two it's two of my favorites actually one was Alice in Wonderland and the other one was uh, Sleeping Beauty. Those are my two favorites. And I like Sleeping Beauty because I like Maleficent. So, um, Alice in Wonderland was my favorite. And like I was small enough to know if I hit the rewind button, it would rewind. And you could see it rewinding. And then I would hit play and I would watch it. And I loved everything about it. I loved that she got lost in the world. I loved all the cold. Wet n Wild came out with a collection. And I ordered so fast. So fast. And the products I'm going to talk about today was a bundle that I got. I will cover the other stuff that I ordered in another video, but I feel like these deserve their own video. I got a bronzer, a highlighter that I don't even know if it's going to work because the colors, like, I'm like, I don't know. Those, those colors look a little light, especially for me right now, but it has Alice on it. And like, I love Alice and it's got the, the horse fly. It's got the little, um... Oh my god, what was this called? Butter? A butterfly. But it has like the, the bread and butter kind of thing. Yeah. And the mean flowers. I got a blush. So I just want to show you guys everything. So we're going to, I'm going to show you the packaging. I'm going to show you up close. And then I'm going to swatch. And then we're going to put it on my face and see how it looks. All right. First up, because I'm going to do it as like the order that I would apply it in. I would say I would do bronzer first, highlighter and then maybe blush or blush highlighter, I don't know. So on the bronzer, it's called T Anyone? Question mark. It's got the Mad Hatter. It's got some of the flowers. It's got the Mad Hatter. It's got the flowers um, and some of the flies. So that's what it looks like. And it has four stripes. I like the color scheme here. I feel like it's gonna work with pretty much everybody. It's a good color scheme. It's a nice kind of golden undertone. So let me swatch. I'm gonna do individual stripes first and then I'll kind of swirl them together. These are your four swatches. It seems like the two in the middle can work as highlighter for somebody who's like tan, deep rich skin tone. Um, or if you swirl it all together, almost like an illuminating bronzer, this color here, my pinky is the deeper shade. That's going to be beautiful. And this one is also nice. They all have like a golden undertone. So that is amazing. So I'm going to just swatch them on my hand. That's what they look like. Now, as a bronzer for somebody who's rich deep skin tone i don't know if it's going to show up so that's like it's 50 50. i'm going to do a swipe of everything that's what it looks like as a swipe it almost pulls more golden that is a beautiful like i'm just going to use this brush this is from my kit co it is my blush and polisher it's like a giant kabuki brush so i'm first going to just do that it does have some kickback to it but it's wet and wild it's you know it is what it is so I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna start applying it that's really pretty it looks really nice in the viewfinder let me pick up my hair real quick so you guys can actually see what I'm doing and let's bronze up my forehead It's definitely warming up my skin. This is really pretty. Um, all right, so I am curious about something. I wanna just use the highlighting shades in the middle and see how that looks on my cheek. Cause I feel like this palette, you can almost get two uses out of it. Oh, 
I'm not gonna lie so because it's a powder it definitely it looks makeupy plus I have on a matte foundation but if I had like on a tint it would probably look less and if I spray it with a little bit of setting spray I just want to see if it gets like juicy that's really pretty okay before I put this on the other side I do want to see what the blush looks like without the bronzer because I'm you know I don't know maybe you're not getting both this is the blush palette and it's called talk to the flowers it's got the if you saw the movie she wasn't very nice her but it was still a beautiful scene <laughs> and it's got more of the flowers so I'm gonna open this one these colors are absolutely beautiful you're looking at like mauve tones, there's gold, there's gold in here, and it's actually a little lighter. Yeah, you see the gold stripe here? This one is a little bit lighter, so this one I think would actually work as a highlighter too. This is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. All right, those are the colors, aren't they? So nice. And they, the swatch, like the formula, feels really like buttery. That highlight shade has like a little bit of a pinky iridescent to it. Let's see, so that's all of them. And then if I just mix them, that's the color I get if I mix them all. So totally up to you if you want to mix them all, if you want to focus on certain ones for the sake of the video and because I only have two cheeks. I'm gonna mix them all. And kickback doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. It could just mean that the formula is easier to blend. That's beautiful. Look at that cheek. Oh my goodness. And you can throw these on the eyes as well, like for shadow. That's really pretty. That's pretty as a blush on its own. Now I'm gonna pop some on my other cheek where I already have the bronzer. Oh my god, that's really nice. <sighs> I had a feeling it was going to be a beautiful collection. <laughs> and I'm not being biased because my favorite Disney movie's on it, but... Alright, and now let's do the highlighter. So this one has Alice on it, and it's called Curiouser and Curiouser. This one has Alice on it. Again, flowers. It seems like they just switched out like the character. This one, I'm not sure if it's going to work on me. I feel like it may pull icy, but I could be wrong. These are the colors. So you have like a lavender color in here. You have sort of like a pinky gold, but I wouldn't even call it rose gold because it leans more pink. A silver and like a yellow gold. So let's see. Those are the colors. Some of these definitely have like micro shimmer in it can you guys see that it's these guys over here so that's pretty we have a lot of colors going on here i'm gonna do a nice swipe of all of them and see what happens okay it the swatch looks definitely icy so see my knuckle right there it's definitely like you can see that it's pretty what's nice is it's kind of it's not opaque so I'm curious to see how it looks now I my skin is darker right now um, I've been outside so we'll see if it looks ashy on me that was my my one concern but I was like I'm gonna get the bundle because I'm just gonna go in with this one I guess we're gonna you know what let's highlight my nose first and then we'll highlight my cheeks because that way I can kind of see how it looks on my skin tone this is gonna be a little altered because of the bronzer and the blush so I'm not mad at it I think it looks pretty Ooh, over the pink it definitely looks more icy over the bronzer it looks it mixes well with the bronzer to warm it up. My cheeks are like glowy, glowy. That's not bad. Again, with the blush, it definitely looks a little bit of a cooler pink. I think this is going to be great for somebody who is definitely more on the fair side, medium skin tone. But if you layer it up with the bronzer, it does look really good. So 
I think that these are definitely a hit. I got it off of their website. Um, it's supposed to launch soon at Ulta and Amazon, and I think some Targets have it and some Walmarts actually have it in person. I personally haven't gone to the store. I just ordered it straight from their um, from their website. So. I think it's a beautiful collection. I, again, I love Alice in Wonderland. So Alice in Wonderland, anything, I'm like, yeah, I think it's great. But I think the colors are good. I think that the makeup is definitely functional. I think anybody could use it. I love it. What do you guys think? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. And I will see you in my next one.